Hey everybody, welcome back to Slice of Gaming. I am the only Pi314 and we are exploring Mario Paint for the Super Nintendo and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. So, let's continue exploring this game a little bit more. We're just exploring some more of the stamps and we're just getting used to copying and pasting everything. So I'm just going to just show off more of the stamps actually. There's the different shapes here. You can make a square with it if you wanted to. That was a really bad square. And there's also the different ones here where it's more of the 3D effect. There we go. I've pretty much shown everything in this game here, but this is the Mario-esque type stamp. So you can have the Yoshi's head connected to Yoshi's body or even more Stranger Things if you wanted. Such as something like this. Yeah, that makes sense. There's also the Koopas, there's the Goombas from Super Mario World. These are all the sprites from Super Mario World, by the way, in case you haven't noticed. There's the Koopas. Yeah, you can make some pretty screwed up things. You can take advantage of the fact that Nintendo was on drugs when they made this game. This blank ones here are the custom made stamps. They're not going to do anything when you click on them because we haven't made anything yet. So let's erase this lovely artwork here. Let's use another special eraser. Uh huh. You're tripping out, man. Right then. So let's use all of our talent and make a pretty picture here. Let's see, what can we make? Uh. 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 Let's go basic, I guess. Let's fill this whole thing up with blue. You can also stop the paintbrush if you wanted to as well, so in case you wanted to only fill up a little small portion of your screen, you can stop it while it's filling up the area here. So if you wanted just a fine little stripe of something, you can just click on the screen again and it'll stop. And so now we've made some kind of rainbow. Let's erase this. Makes you feel like dancing in a way. Okay. Anyways, back to what I was doing. I was going to try to use all of our talent that we've learned here and make a nice picture of some kind. Let's see. What can we do? What can we make? Let's continue with our blue here. And also, in case you haven't noticed, the paintbrush will do a dance while this is um, painting. It's kind of odd, but it's a bit of an entertainment while you're doing this, I suppose. It's weird, though. Alright, let's use our square tool, I guess, or our line tool. Let's make a line. Let's see, what am I looking for here? I think I went past it. This is what I was looking for. Let's make a line. Make a line. There we go. Try to make a straight line. That one off the screen here. There. There we go. Yay, we have a line now. Okay, let's just fill up this little empty pixel over here. Take our paintbrush tool again. Now we've got some grass. Oh, grass looking stuff anyways. You can stamp on some flowers if you want to. It looks kind of tacky though. Let's undo that. I don't like how that looks. Let's make a house I suppose. Right here. You can line up the bricks oh so carefully. It'll look like it's a bricked house I suppose. Reminds me of a song that she's a brick house. Anyways, moving along here. There, let's make another layer and that should be good. It's kind of just showing off everything that you can do in the game all at once here. Let's make a window. There. Just notice this, there's no door to get in. Uh, I guess these are more like columns or something. Let's make a sidewalk going to the house be kind of a jaggedy sidewalk, I guess. 
This art is so amazing. There we go. It's good enough, I suppose. Let's fix it up a little bit there. There. There we go. That's so awesome. It hurts. Perfect. I used to spend hours playing this game when I was little. Just because I just loved it so much. I wonder if there's a chimney looking thing somewhere here. I can't see that. Let's see. Maybe this, I guess. Oh, that's kind of weird. I remember when I was young, my sister and I, like I said before, we used to play this game endlessly. And especially my sister was good at one of the other games that's on here. And I'll be showing that off a little bit later. I'm trying to see what I can do here for the chimney look. It's more for the smoke, I guess. I suppose I can do the smoke first. That'll come out of the chimney. Let's add in some light gray here as well. This art is all done on the fly, by the way. I had absolutely no idea what I was going to do originally. There's some flowers. Let's put some of these flowers in here. The flower power from Super Mario World. Yeah, that's good enough. Also, it's something that's scary that I'm going to show you. This thing here freaks the living shit out of me, and I'll show you why later. It's Mario's head. Let's see, what else can we put on there? Our lovely little artwork here. Put some other flowers here. I think these are peach blossoms, which are pretty popular in Japan. Here we go. Mm. Put a mountain in the distance, I suppose. Looks kind of weird, but that's okay. This guy's gonna have a bike by his house. He's not gonna have a door, though. Here's our little man. He needs a body, though. Let's give him a body quick. Here. We can also custom make him if we want to. We can have him have, like, giant lips. Which we're going to do, just to freak everybody out. There. Isn't that awesome? Here's another little house. I guess he could have lived there, but that's kind of small. Let's make some hills. Yeah. Let's see here. I'm mostly using the stamp tool, so let's see if I can make something else. Oh, he needs a gate. Also, something I forgot to show off. I'm just going to put his gate right here to his house. This little square at the bottom here, when you click on it, you can reverse your drawings or your little stamp that you're currently using. So if you need something upside down for whatever reason, let's just show uh, something that's upside down here. So if you need Mary's head to be upside down for whatever reason, you can do so. What else is here? And you can also flip it one more way so it's facing the other way. Let's make some airplanes. That's enough airplanes, I think. He needs a vehicle. There's his vehicle. I also just noticed that he's floating. And I haven't done the chimney yet either. Let's give him a chimney. Let's see, what color can we use? Uh, uh, let's be boring and just use gray, I suppose. Let's see, let's just make a box. Right here. There we go. Little paintbrush, fill that in. There we go. Our artwork is so amazing! Now we need to use this tool somehow. What can we do with this? We can make some clouds! This might be more effective with the airbrush, but that's okay. You can just kind of glob the clouds on here. There, and this is the type of things that you can do in this game. Of course, if you're better at this than I am, then you can probably make something that's more impressive. Like if I had more time, I'd probably make a big picture. But like I said, it's neat. This program needs a zoom tool. That's what this thing needs. A zoom. Alright, now that we've created our lovely work of art here, so amazing, let's erase it. Uh, let's use this one, I guess. Uh-huh. Alright, and also, let's get the next part here, we're going to explore this menu here. So there's a lot more things in this game coming up, so thanks for watching this part, and I will catch you guys later. And... See...